Hi, John Capobianco here again. What I'm going to do now with the Build 5 API and the ShimmerNet and the distributed ledger and immutable data is to put my intent on the ledger and then pull that intent and generate a config and configure a device from that intent. So I'm working in this immutable source of truth for my intended config, pulling it down running it through a Jinja template and pushing it with PyETS to the device. Take a quick look. Okay, so I'm on this Cisco device and if I do a show IP interface brief, you're going to see that interface two and three are both down and neither has an IP address. But let's fix that. So what I have is this intent JSON file. This is my intent for these interfaces, each interface name, description, IP address, and the state as enabled. In this previous um, TypeScript, I have pushed this to the ShimmerNet so we can actually go and look and find that immutable JSON, my intent for this config under the associated outputs, NFT ID. Let's just take a look here. There is my intent. So now I'm going to run a PyTS job in a different window here. And as you can see, we have IP addresses and the states are enabled. If we check the device now, right, they don't have IP addresses and they are not enabled. So the PyTS code is going to run. And you can see here, it's already happened. But what I do is I capture the original config. I generate and push the config, figure from intent. And you can see here, I am pushing the configuration to the device from my intent templated in Jinja. And then I do a differential to prove the bottom here, here's my differential, right? I've added a description and an IP address and I've removed the no shutdown command and the no IP address command. If I go back to the device and run that command, you're now going to see I have two IP addresses and the devices are up. So now we can put our intent, it's unchangeable, it's immutable. Let's say I want to change one of those IP addresses. Well, we know we can append to a parent NFT, digital twin, and then I could read from the latest record, and my template doesn't need to change, my code doesn't need to change. We just get the state of our intent and push it to the device. This can be done periodically. It's all immutable. It's all item potent. It's a very powerful addition to the network automation landscape, having this immutable source of truth. Thanks again.